If you spend enough time in America, you'll realize that real estate is a source of 90% of all millionaires. According to popular American industrialist Andrew Carnegie, he wasn't wrong because this is one man who controls the value of real estate in America. Unbelievable, but true. That man is Sam Zell, the king of real estate. Hello and welcome to Financial Fluence. In this video, I'll introduce the man who secretly owns most of America's real estate and his top real estate trusts. Let's now get going. Sam Zell has already made a name for himself in the US real estate market, where establishing and maintaining a successful business can take years. He's the chairman of Equity Group Investments, a private investment firm with more than 50 years of experience and a portfolio of private and public companies in waste management, real estate, logistics, healthcare, and transportation. EGI is known for its business savvy because of the man in charge principles, which have helped them succeed in everything they do. Sam Zell is deserving of the title King of Real Estate, thanks to these three of his top real estate trusts. Number 1. Equity Commonwealth Trust When compared to its competitors, this office building trust is flush with cash and ruling the market as it acquires new properties and works with major clients all over the world. Three of Sam Zell's EGI's biggest American real estate investment trusts are Equity Commonwealth Trust, Equity Lifestyle Properties, and Equity Residential. Equity Commonwealth Trust manages domestic and international office buildings, as well as industrial structures and land parcels. Number 2. Equity Lifestyle Properties Equity Lifestyle Properties may be the biggest company that runs both residential and commercial properties. It has a controlling interest in 400 communities inside and outside of the United States, with 445 buildings and up to 170,157 sites in 35 states and British Columbia. Sam Zell's latest source of income is Equity Lifestyle Properties. This company runs some of the most peaceful RV resorts, manufactured home parks, and campgrounds in the United States. There are also some of the most luxurious family apartments. This corporation is valued at more than $29 billion. Number 3. Equity Residential In New York, Los Angeles, Boston, Seattle, Washington, D.C., San Francisco, and Denver, they own and control over 78,000 departments. The company employs approximately 2,600 people and is worth $23.83 billion. Equity Group Investments has subsidiaries in other industries with annual revenues in the millions of dollars as previously stated. But these three are the Grave Dancer's first investment that made him so much money in his early days. And before we continue, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the like button and turn on the notification bell to be notified every time a new video is uploaded. Let's return to the video now. Sam Zell's third and most potent heavyweight real estate trust is Equity Residential. This company deals in the upkeep and acquisition of rental properties. It was the first apartment complex to be listed on the S&P 500, thanks in part to its excellent apartments and gorgeous interior design. According to credible sources, Sam Zell has a net worth of $5.61 billion, which enables him to buy 3.37 million ounces of gold and 59.9 million barrels of crude oil. Sam's fortune is equal to 0.0244% of the US GDP and 0.294% of existing home sales in the US. If you reside in the US, this man most likely has had an effect on your life. When you look more closely at his net worth, you can see that it is equal to 89% of the total award pay of the top 200 U.S. executives. Sam Zell was born to Jewish immigrants named Bernard and Rochelle Zell, whose real names were Beric and Ruchella Zilonka. They left Poland because of bad laws and a planned attack by the Nazis. His father learned about the latest developments in the events that would cause great distress in Poland while riding a train. He wasted no time in turning around and fleeing the country as soon as possible with his family. Sam was born later in Chicago, where his parents moved when his mother got pregnant. Both of them owned some of the properties they were in charge of, and Zell became a millionaire when he got his law degree. An entrepreneur, his father and his older sister Leah co-founded a luxury jewelry business that did well enough to meet the family's needs. He started using this talent in his neighborhood when he realized that the kids there would pay him to sell them Playboy magazines. When Sam graduated from high school, he talked to a landlord who was building a student apartment and agreed to take over management. By the time Sam graduated from college, he had already earned over $150,000 from his new job, which had already brought in thousands of dollars. 
He went to law school at the University of Michigan, where he and his friend Lori also got contracts to run a few student apartments. Both of them owned some of the properties they were in charge of, and Zell became a millionaire when he got his law degree. He sold his holdings to Lori and relocated to Chicago. The move to Chicago marked a watershed moment in Zell's real estate career, as he and other partners established Equity Group Investments, which later served as the foundation for his other trusts, including Equity Residential. Sam had a large number of buildings to sell when the market picked up, so they decided to buy during a very bad time for the real estate market in the United States. As a result, he earned the moniker Grave Dancer. He had the ability to buy when everyone else was selling. He knew how to transform a failing business. People thought he was crazy at the time, but little did they know Sam Zell would later build Equity Residential and Equity Office Property Trusts, both of which were offshoots of EGI. When Sam Zell sold equity office properties to Blackstone for $36 billion in 2007, you had to wonder how this financially savvy entrepreneur would sell the company he had worked so hard to build. I can assure you that he did not feel particularly good about it that same year. Zell participated in the Tribune sale and paid $8.9 billion for the company. This arrangement did not last long because the media company incurred a $13 billion debt, and he ran into trouble with his employees who sued him for making business decisions that did not benefit them. He eventually quit as chairman of the Tribune and kept building and growing his already successful real estate business. What is the net worth of the Grave Dancer? Sam is still working even after the Tribune saga. He is still purchasing properties and performing admirably as an angel investor. In fact, Sam was already a billionaire before he purchased the Tribune. He also owns private mansions throughout the United States. Aside from his $10.5 million mansion in Chicago, he owns other mansions and properties in places like Malibu, where his luxurious 12,000-square-foot property is close to the ocean. The $13 million house features a pool, a gym, four bedrooms, and a guest house. He's one of Wall Street's most well-known figures, and he owns 13 motorcycles and three planes, including two bombardiers worth up to $50 million each. He also has many cars, but his wife drives the majority of them. Zell keeps a low profile and avoids most interviews, even though he spends millions of dollars on extravagant and unusual birthday parties. He doesn't reveal much about his personal life, but it's clear that he's having a good time based on his income and the number of investments he's made. This billionaire believes strongly in giving back to the community and supporting worthy causes, as do most in his field. Given his extensive experience, his focus as a dynamic philanthropist is on entrepreneurial education. It's easy to understand why he'd want to help other entrepreneurs through his charitable work. His support for numerous entrepreneurial programs across the country is one of his most philanthropic achievements. The Zell Family Foundation is committed to supporting education, recreation, cancer research, human services, medicine, and youth development. The Zell Foundation helps students through programs like the Zell Fellows Program at the Kellogg School of Management at Northwestern University the Zell Laurie Institute for Entrepreneurial Studies at the Ross School of Business at the University of Michigan, and the Zell Entrepreneurship Program at Reichman University in Israel. Zell and his wife gave the Chicago Symphony Orchestra Association $17 million and the University of Michigan $60 million. A $10 million donation to the Ounce of Prevention Fund was among other hearty donations. And that's all. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoy similar stuff, check out my other videos. And if you like it, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification bell, and I'll see you in the next video.